Hi there. Now, for this question then, we were given the ellipse, which you can see I've sketched here, and the coordinates P and Q. And we're asked to show that the equation of the line passing through P and Q is given by this. Now, it's quite a long proof here, so you'll need to fast forward if you want to see the solution, because I couldn't put it all on one screen. But there are two, three places, say, in this that I thought could be a bit tricky. Um, so I'll take you through them anyway. First of all, I found the gradient PQ in the usual way, difference between the Y coordinates divided by the difference in the X coordinates. And then pulled out a factor of two thirds here. And then I had to use the factor formula to simplify sine alpha minus sine beta see this here, find it in the formula book, and cos alpha minus cos beta in the denominator here. Did a bit of cancelling as you can see, and then that gave me the gradient. And then to get the equation of the straight line PQ, I just used this point here P for my x1, y1, and I substituted the formula for straight line y minus y1 equals m the gradient times x minus x1. So once we've got this, we just need to work on this and try and aim to get this equation. So I'll just scroll this up so that we can see what I did. So you can see then that what I did next was multiply both sides by minus 3 sine alpha plus beta over 2, which was enough to get rid of this fraction here. And I got this then, and then divided by 6 to both sides and rearranged it to give me this. Now it's at this point that I picked up on the right hand side here. It has that pattern structure for the cosine of A minus B. Remember cosine of A minus B is cosine A cosine B plus sine A sine B, where A is alpha and B is alpha plus beta over 2. So I've got here then the cosine of essentially A minus B. Simplify that and you get the form that was asked. Okay?